Okay, before we stick our falsies on, we're going to use a little bit of that same light eyeshadow. And we're going to put this just on the very lash line. Okay, here comes the technical whip. I'm using Bourjois Clubbing Liner. This is a liquid one. And we need to go underneath with this liner. Try and look up into a mirror when you're doing this because you're less likely to make it all blobby. So once that's set, we're going to take um, a white eyeliner, she says, looking for her white eyeliner. First one I've picked out, Fascinating by MAC, and you're going to put that just on the inside line. Now we're going to stick some lashes on. Okay, once you've got those lashes on and you're waiting for it to dry, um, we're going to get a little bit more technical still, sorry. You did ask. Here I have some bottom lashes. Bottom lashes are little tiny things like that. Oh, don't drop them. <laughs> um, now. When you stick them on, you stick them on so they're curved that way. Okay, remember with your with your normal eyelashes, they curve that way. These ones curve that way. I have seen people put them on so that they curve outwards. It looks wrong, okay? Just think about how your natural eyelashes curl. Forget this if you've got long nails. <laughs> Absolutely forget it. Okay. So what we're aiming to do is we're aiming to stick this lash on the line that we've drawn on, okay? So on our eyeliner line that we've got underneath, we're going to stick our lashes on there. The whole idea of this makeup, because it is um, it is a makeup for, for video, for TV, um, the whole idea is that it makes the eyes look bigger from a distance, okay, as you can see it does. Um, creepy actually isn't it but it's also you know it's also a style thing so let's get some glue on these and see if we can get them attached it's 
a bit harder sticking them to yourself than it is sticking them on someone else, so I'm going to go fingers crossed that I can get them on. Sorry, I'm going to have to get really close to the mirror now. Itch. <laughs> I should mention you can get these bottom eyelashes. Um, these ones are from Mac. They're number thirty. Is it thirty-three? I think. If you can't get them in your local Mac, it might be because you need to go to a pro store to get them. Um, and the only pro store in the UK is in Soho just behind Carnaby Street. Oh, they're tricky. They're so tricky. worry too much about any blobs of glue because those blobs of glue will dry clear. You can peel them off with tweezers later. Okay, I'm going to use a 129 from MAC and um, a bronzer from Tesco's. This is called Cheek to Cheek Bronzer. Okay, as you can see this isn't really a subtle look, <laughs> so don't you don't have to be too subtle with it. I'm going to really bronze myself up. Okay, lips, before we do hair, um, we need a really, really pale lip liner. Have I got one pale enough? What's that down there? Ooh, this looks like a good one. This is, oh yes, it's fabulous. This is um, Shiseido Beige lip liner. Can you see that colour? I'm going to fill the whole lip in with this lip liner. So you can see it really news out the lips. I mean a lot of makeup artists use concealer to do this. Um, I like this lip liner, it's pretty fab. I'm going for Floor Abundance from MAC. Just find my little lip brush. Concealer under the eyes. Now that the mascara is dried and the eyeliner is dried, just get rid of anything that's dropped. <laughs> 